Hello everyone and welcome back to Chalice Dungeons. Today we're doing the Lower Intertombs, which I'm pretty sure don't have any undead giants, so I shouldn't be getting fucked with too severely. So, six Depth 3 Ritual Bloods and six Bloodshot Eyeballs. If you really need to grind for them, you're gonna have to, uh... You're gonna have to kill the, uh... Eye Collectors of the Hemwick Bitches, whatever you want to call them. Uh, problem is, they usually prefer to drop pebbles. So you're probably just better off buying them from the Insight Shop. If you really need to. Ironically, the best place to farm them is in the Hintertombs themselves. <coughs> Which is why it's so important to collect everything on your way through. Okay, so the harder version of Sen's Fortress meets Blight Town. No, I don't want to return. I just got here. Checking. Checking. No balconies. But we got this. More often than not, if you're doing root dungeons and you find a bonus area on the first layer, it's most likely gonna be chalice materials and get my fucking lantern back on! Oh god, we're gonna have a giant fucking pig and possibly an undead giant. No? No? Oh, well, we got poison swamp. Yep. It's the hinter tombs, of course we do. Oh, shit! I didn't even see you! I was looking off in the distance and you were right at my feet! Hey, that took a few swipes. Beast Hunter's Damp Blood Gem 4. Beast Hunters naturally increase damage against beasts. Ta-da! 13.2%. Ooh, nourishing. Nourishing's always good because it increases everything! Any little surprises coming out of here? You little... Oh. It's full of oil urns that are going to explode in my face. Because, you know, they put some scrawny little dickhead in there who's going to throw Molotovs at me. And speaking of which, I should be looking up. Ah, oh, you little shit. Oh, you're both buffed with poison, which means you're not going to die in the poison swamp. Which means I have to beat you to death myself! Good, it's more fun that way. How did you not die? I'm pretty sure I hit you three times. Oh, did you drop some tomb mold for me? I'd much prefer it if you were dropping the uh, throwing knives. Like the ones in the main game do, but this isn't the main game. Oh dear. Hey guys! Whoa! I've been looking out for that. Hit you. You should die. I want that little prick to get nice and close. Aww. Where the fuck did you come from? Were you sleeping out here or were you you were from up there, weren't you? That makes sense. Really want okay. Make sure no one's gonna ambush me from above. Really want one of these slime balls to get good and close to these oil urns so I can just nuke the fuckers. else here for me to kill, I should get rid of these things so they don't become a problem for me. Of 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure poison knives aren't going to do me any good here, considering that everyone is going to be immune to poison. Well, almost everyone. Everyone that matters, anyway. Anyone strong enough that I actually want to use poison on is most likely going to be immune. And the ones who aren't, I can just kill with a couple fury swipes. <laughs> yeah, he was probably waiting around this corner. And he got called into action! Wow, is this really this short? You got this shit right here? And you know who I'm gonna have to deal with here? The fucking psycho bitch and his goddamn guard. Okay. Come and get me, bitch! Oh god, she's got a fucking corpse. Instead of the fucking dual wielding weapons. Come on, where's the timing? There we go. Fucking die! You dead? Good, I heard this thing. <laughs> Tells you they're dead. <laughs> Yummy. What you got for me? Ritual blood, let me guess. Odd, damp, blood tinge gem four. <sighs> well, let's see. Adds blood attack 12.4. Hmm. That might actually be good. Because with my blood tinge as low as it is, the percentage boost that I get from the rest of the blood, the circular gems, probably isn't going to be that high. This is probably going to be the biggest boost I've got for my gun thus far. You couldn't just give me one goddamn slot on that cannon, could you? They're already too goddamn powerful, even though they use 12 fucking bullets a shot! But yeah, use it sparingly. Only on those who are... Most deserving. Yeah, this is just a bonus area, so we leave. We don't look for the boss gate yet. One type of room in particular that I'm waiting to tell you guys about, but I haven't found any yet. Oh, and I'll see a statue that tells me it's gonna be ghosts. Phantoms, or whatever you want to call them. Is that it? Two? Oh yeah, you're you're obviously a surprise waiting for me. Wow. He staggered me and I was crouched low enough to duck under his hitbox. That was awkward. Uh-oh. Woke somebody up. You gonna go back to sleep? I told you to go back to sleep! Go to sleep! If you're tired, be quiet and go to sleep! No statues, so... Phantoms! Woo! It's a little close. Ah, you missed. How many more of these ghost traps am I gonna find? That's why they put. S that's why they're summoning so few because there's so many of them littered all over the hello. Oh! Makes 
expect you to run around and trip them all at the same time and then wind up with half a dozen of these peckers in your fucking face. Okay, you go through the see-through door first. Oh! Got some friends! Whoa! Fuck, I didn't think there was anyone there. Jesus, move! See that? The bitch swings her fucking axe faster than I can pull a goddamn trigger. No fucking delay on this shit. Oh my god, get your gun out, you ass! Oh my god, the gun! The gun! The gun! Jesus fucking Christ, you farcical numbnut! I checked, I didn't see anyone there, that's why I went after the pinheads! Fuck! You see why I'm so fucking terrified of those goddamn bitches? They take that much goddamn damage when I'm at this fucking level! Christ all fucking mighty. First he's got both his claws out, then it's the goddamn torch, and then... Just get your gun out and shoot the fuckers, you dumbass! God! Whoa, you fucking asshole! And he's right at the top of the stairs. Ladder. Two of them! Right at the top of the stairs. You seriously get fucking iframes. Oh my fucking god! You are dead set on pissing me off, aren't you? <sighs> seriously, you weren't even coming off the fucking ladder yet and I couldn't hit you. Why do they give enemies so many fucking iframes, but none for me? It's supposed to be hard, but fair from soft. Get my fucking gun out! I can already hear the blood bug from that psycho bitch. Holy shit. Now it's time for the hit and run tactics. Good god. Uh, 
That's not something I want to fuck around with. Depth 3 is decidedly more difficult than Depth 2. Back to what I was doing. Oh, that was a dead end. So we got the solid door. Which is a fucking nightmare. Already hear enemies with flaming weapons waiting for me. I'm hungry. I want lunch. Gotcha. What the fuck are you that only you only take that much fucking damage? Guess I was just grazing you before. You little pile of shit! Perfectly lined up with the goddamn door to blast me while I'm ducking away from all these assholes. And you have a friend? Well, not up here. Prick. Okay. Anyone else down there? No? Good. I get to be sneaky. <coughs> Careful. Slowly. Far away as possible. Okay, we're behind her. Fucking bitch gets to eat a DICK! Thank god my visceral attacks are still one-shotting these fucking psychos. Nothing else? Time to leave. away and then double check to see if I get a blood bug for that prick. even flatten for Christ's sake.
There you go, that's more fucking like it. That's right, when they go back to their original position, they will always reset themselves and face the same direction. So that you can or can't keep sneaking up on them. Thank you. At least I got something for killing you pinheads. Unless, of course, the enemy you visceral attacked was close to a ledge and you can knock them off of it or lure them off of it, in which case their uh, stationary point will be reset. That sound never fails to scare the crap out of me, even when I know all the traps and shit have been destroyed. Hey. More often than not, you get two bonus rooms per layer, especially in root dungeons. Kaboo. Whoa! Oh, shit! Fucking spiders. Fucking depth three spiders. Fuck. And here's the two floor room variant of this. Two floor variant of this room. Oh, look, there's a coffin on top of a coffin. Oh, it's just a different style of coffin. No spiders. I don't think I wasn't aware of you. Hmm. There's a ghost in there. This might come in handy. Assuming I'm careful enough to make sure it doesn't backfire. Hearing flaming weapons. I want to open this door and take care of that fucking ghost first.
don't think I heard a wandering nightmare in here, but I'd like to double check. Oh. Well, then it's a good thing I went through the door because this just leads back to here. I'm glad she clipped through the floor first so I could plunge attack her. Aha! No, you don't. Pays to double check. Okay. the doors up there that I missed in my haste to kill the specter. Spiders, man. Especially here in the Chalice Dungeons, their attacks are too fast and way too powerful for <sighs> as puny an enemy as they are. They should be weaker. They are utterly insignificant and beneath me. Ah. Not sure if I can sneak around this guy, but god damn it, I'm gonna try. Okay. Thank God, noises like that don't tip them off. That's why you increase your skill level. Because visceral attacks are tied to skill. Also, because the burial blade is a skill weapon. reason why they're called quality builds is that's what they are all right what do I get here I'm low enough now that I should be able to get a chalice a uh, sinister chalice really ritual blood are you fucking kidding me I've gotten more than that from f chests half your size and every chest is half your size My god. Did I just walk directly over that and not set it off? That might very well have killed me, especially if more than one of those hit me in the face. Dear god. What a charmed life I live. Oh, no, this way. There we go. Alright, who do we have here in layer one? Let's uh be fully prepared. Oh <laughs> this loser. You gotta be careful because this guy automatically tries to paralyze you. Hide. 
dodge and attack, and then beat the fucking shit out of them. something else. What the fuck am I doing? This is how you handle humanoid opponents. Oh shit! Yeah. Fucking hyper armor on that thing. grab attacks. I hate them. That's why you always put your arcane up to 15. Because Beast Roar absolutely cripples humanoid opponents. Of course, the hyper armor on that grab attack of his is fucking impossible. And at the end of this layer, we're going to face someone particularly special who's going to unlock a new armor set for us. Or a tire set. <laughs> 